Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how I created this painting of the sky and right now you'll see my photo and my value sketch where I try to figure out the composition and the values. So the paper is wet on both sides and uh, it stays wet for a really long time and it allows me to manipulate the color, add more, remove some. So I really like this technique of having the paper wet on both sides and you just saw me removing some of the moisture with paper towel and I did that so I can have some clouds with hard edges. I want some variety and that's why I want to have some clouds with hard edges. Now I'm adding some shadows. When I'm doing that, basically I have a lot of pigment on the brush and very little water. The paper is already so wet that if I were to have some water on the brush, it will just flow unco uncontrollably. And I'm using mostly indigo with some cobalt here and there and some quinacridone sienna where I want the color to be slightly warmer, closer to the sun. And you can use any other blue color, but I think indigo, indanthrin blue and colors such as Payne's Gray, Neutral Tint, those will give you the really dark value. Colors such as Cobalt or Ultramarine, they won't give you a dark value just by themselves. You'll have to mix them with like Burnt Umber. I added some sky below the cloud, the strokes are pointing toward the sun so that it looks like sun rays and at this point the paper is starting to dry so you can see I I'm trying to have um, to add a little bit of variety like make an opening in that cloud but it's not looking very good <laughs> And now the paper is dry, so you can see the colors look much lighter. I kind of wish they were a little bit darker, but I can't do nothing at this point. So I'm just adding the ocean and the shore using a little bit of the dry brush technique. Uh, to leave some highlights where the ocean meets the shore. And I'm removing some of the pigment with a damp uh, brush. There's very little water on it, so it absorbs the pigment. And I'm using a credit card to try to lift some of the paint to make it look like there are some driftwood, but it didn't really work. There has to be a certain timing when you use that credit card method and I, I didn't catch that timing. So, And now everything is dry again and I'm adding the background trees making sure to leave some of some highlights so that it looks like roofs or something shining in the back and I'm adding more pigment to have some darker value 
and using a, a dry brush technique again in the foreground so just adding some stones and something like that things that you see on the shore and now I'm actually adding more uh, pigment to the water it seemed to me like it was way too light so I wanted to make it a little darker and some finishing touches again I'm just adding some spe specks of something lines you know just something that looks like what you find on shore and add in some white gouache to show some of the highlights and this is the finished painting I hope you enjoyed the process let me know in the comments if you would like to see some other videos or any questions you may have. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye!